now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Truck weather bulletin for October 30th. Well, here we are, we're slowly approaching the end of the month and we have two systems active whether alive or dead. Malo is now extra tropical to the east of Japan and Apollo is a tropical storm in the Mediterranean Sea near Italy. Not something I'd be expecting to say in a truck weather bulletin, but of course 2021 has proven to be a strange year. It's day 151 of Atlantic hurricane season and there is 94L with a 40% chance of formation at the moment. Although there are signs that should, that should be higher or potentially a subtropical storm right now. Of course there's a little bit of confusion as to what is going on, we'll see what goes on with that one. It's day 167 of Eastern Pacific Hurricane Season. There used to be an area of interest, but chances have decreased all the way to zero with that, which leaves us with those systems active and non to develop in the next five days in this basin. Going on over into the Western Pacific, you can see what is left of Malu, uh, which is continuously getting more and more disorganized in its extratropical phase, while there's also Invest 90W, which has a 30% chance of formation. Of course, the GFS is the one that is going uh, completely bullish on this as of right now. In the North Indian Ocean, there is nothing going on right now. However, in the Southwestern Indian Ocean, there is Invest 93S, which is likely to kick off the Southwestern Indian Ocean season, now the fact that there is an 80% chance of formation, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center already giving a TCFA for it. There is no track forecast given the fact that there are no systems active at the moment. Uh, of course these will return when the next tropical cyclone is active, but in the meantime we do not have any of those so you can wait. Until then, uh, it'll probably be either 94L or 93S depending which forms first or becomes more prominent. So, moving on over, so that way I'm not continuing on rambling, at least, this takes us to the North Atlantic Satellite Imagery. And you can see what's going on between 94L, uh, seemingly looking better, and then of course to the right of the screen you can see uh, Medicaid Apollo there, or Tropical Storm Apollo, whatever you want to call it, it's to the southeast of uh, Italy there. In the Eastern Pacific, there's really not much going on, there's a few disturbances that are worth noting. Uh, but there is really nothing that's going to be actually developing into a tropical cyclone anytime soon. It's all quite here, as it has been the case for a few days now, ever since Rek made landfall to Category 2. In the Western Pacific, you can see Malo pretty much leave uh, the map pretty much, and then you can see Invest 90W as it continues to fire up showers and thunderstorms. However, they're extremely disorganized in nature, so it is going to take a bit for it to actually get itself... Uh, organized to the extent of which it will become a tropical cyclone. Of course, it's not even certain that it will, so we will see what happens with that as it continues towards the west-northwest. In the North Indian Ocean, there's not much going on. The uh, monsoon season seems to be looking a little bit weaker as the uh, month changes into November in a few days. In the Arabian Sea, not much going on as per usual either. And looking at our flutter imagery, you can get a special look of what is 93S. It is looking pretty good. It's been able to get a uh, broad rotation going along there, as well as enough showers and thunderstorms. So as long as this continues, we could be seeing the first southwestern Indian Ocean to kick off the southern hemisphere season. Here we are in the eastern Pacific, temperature-wise. Of course, it is around 27 to 29 degrees Celsius throughout the majority of the basin, although there is one random spot there uh, that's around 25 to 26 there, interestingly enough. Uh, that is worth noting in the event anything does go there, which is pretty doubtful. In the Atlantic, you can see the temperatures are continuing to slowly cool in the Atlantic with temperatures around 27 to 28 in the Gulf of Mexico, 28 to 29 still in the Caribbean, and then a recourse 27 to 29 as you had in the main development region. In the North Indian Ocean, the temperatures remain around 28 to 29 in the Bay of Bengal, 27 to 28 throughout much of the Arabian Sea. In the Western Pacific, the temperatures continue to be a little bit on the cooler side compared to what we saw last week, with temperatures remaining around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. Still some 30 degrees Celsius temperatures, at least in the southern portion of the Philippines and lower in terms of latitude. In the southern hemisphere, we were looking at temperatures still around 26 to 27 degrees Celsius. Of course, those will slowly continue to warm as we get closer to the season boundaries. 
Okay, the sea surface temperature anomalies, and you can see that the Atlantic is still looking warmer than average, especially in the Gulf of Mexico and Gulf Stream. The Eastern Pacific, it's slightly too, um, a little bit above average. Central Pacific is still looking cool. Eastern, or Western Pacific, I should say, is still looking above average. Same with the North Indian Ocean. On this day in 1961, we had Hurricane Hattie which was strengthening a Category 4 at this point, would eventually become a Category 5 on the 31st before making a catastrophic landfall on Belize, killing over 300 and putting it in a state of ruins. There was also a tropical depression Clara, which was active and weakening at this point, formerly a typhoon. You can find more of our On This Day products powered by Cyclone History and a more in-depth description about Hattie's impacts. And of course, the Twitter tag is on the bottom bar below. So that brings us over to the next names in the Atlantic. The next two names here are Wanda, followed by Adria. In the Eastern Pacific, the next two names here are Sandra, followed by Terry. And in the Central Pacific, while it may be wishful thinking to have Hone at this point, you can't always get what you want. In the Western Pacific, the next two names here are Niato, followed by Ray, and in the North, the next two names here are Jawad, followed by Asani. Of course, Mittens thinks that that is a good name, I guess? Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to try to put this as a blooper at this point. In the Australian region, the next two names here are Patty, followed by Ruby, and in the Southwestern Indian Ocean, the next two names are Anna, followed by Batsire. South Pacific is looking out for Cody and Dovey, and that is what will wrap up our Truck Weather Bulletin.